hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content in our last two videos we talking linkedin we talked about why recruiters use linkedin um as a tool for finding out more information from applicants or about applicants we talked about how you can use linkedin to maximize your job search now in today's video i want to share with you are you a professional you're already working in a place how do you use linkedin to advance your career so stay with me i'm going to share with you three quick tips on how to use linkedin to advance your career as a professional over the years linkedin has proven to be the hub for all professionals who are all working towards one common goal of advancing their career or building new networks or finding new opportunities be it a, um, a job seeker a ceo of a fortune 500 or a ceo of a startup many fail to realize the potential of linkedin which is why this video is coming your way a lot of people find it to be boring compared to other um, social media platforms but if you can spend just a few minutes a day just working around your LinkedIn profile or your LinkedIn account it goes a long way to help you advance your career in a way those other platforms necessarily don't so quick tip number one complete your profile see how simple that sounds but it will amaze you the number of people who have LinkedIn profiles and it can be very disturbing as a recruiter so you go on there you search the name sometimes it doesn't pop up and when it does the profile picture section is blank and then there's just very scanty information the person just mentioned where I'm working currently and probably the school that I went to those two information very scanty for um, a recruiter to form an opinion about your online presence okay so the first thing you want to do is work on updating and completing your profile your LinkedIn profile is the face of your career when you are not there it's your profile that speaks for you so you want to spend some time on creating a very powerful headline a robust summary of your qualifications and the things that you can do now linkedin will automatically pick out keywords from your profile as a headline for you but make sure that beyond that you spend time what you want a potential employer to know about you so you spend time creating a very powerful and striking headline so a few tips on completing your profile don't go and copy jargons from somewhere and you know come and paste on your page something you cannot relate to is about you let your profile tell a compelling story about you and what you can do be original and authentic in whatever you do make sure you post a high quality image of yourself tip number two at its core LinkedIn just like other social media platforms is for creating connections and building relationships so that's another way you can advance your career by taking advantage of this platform to create meaningful professional relationships with people how do you do this follow news and discussions that have direct bearing on your field also look out for people within your circle and request for recommendations on you now what this does for you is that it gives you credibility and it shows people what you can do participate in discussions share information comment like share information on what you are doing highlight your achievements even small small things that you've learned that you know highlight your skills and competencies in your field so those are the things you want to be involved in and make sure that at every point in time you are communicating you are sharing something you are we, we can hear you loud and clear anytime we get onto your linkedin 
So some of the things you can do in building these meaningful relationships is at least make sure you get 10 connections every day, at least 10 connections. I mentioned in a previous video that there are about 660 million users of LinkedIn. These are registered um, people. And then there are 330 million active users. Okay, so people are bound on LinkedIn. Make sure that you try to get 10 connections every day. And also in a month, try to get at least three recommendations. Reach out to people in your network circles and feel, oh, can you give me a recommendation? Let them put it there. If you learned anything, an online course for all these free courses, make sure that you put them all out there. Also wish people, LinkedIn will notify you of people's birthdays, anniversary. Then just skip by, oh, this doesn't mean anything. You have no idea when you need you know, someone to help you in your next phase or in a new opportunity, something. So anytime LinkedIn, it doesn't take much time to just, they even suggest what you should say, happy birthday, congratulations, just click on it, you know, so you are participating in the community and building that relationship you might need now or later. The final tip is to curate your content all the time. So always make sure that you are updating. The key word is being active in the community or participating actively in the community. When we go on there, let's see that every day you are engaging and interacting with people. So we don't go on LinkedIn and the last activity was two years ago, one year ago, six months ago. You are not participating in the community. So you add media content that feature, you know, advancement in your your field or what you are doing currently. It may be what an award. You know, sometimes people see people showing um, pictures of their graduation or an award they received and all that. And, and some people interpret it as, oh, these people are too self-conceited. No, these people have learned to use this free tool to advertise themselves so that they can be linked with that opportunity they've been looking for. So highlight these things. These are things that make you more visible because at, at the end of the day, what you need to move into your next career is that visibility. So the question is, what is your goal in participating in the online community? Is it just to follow news that doesn't relate or has no bearing on your advancement in your life or in your career. If it's about advancing your career, then you won't really focus on LinkedIn because that's the largest professional community that helps you to do this. So spend at least 15 minutes on LinkedIn, updating your profile and working around some of these things that I've mentioned in this video and you see yourself in a sea of endless possibilities advancing your career. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I want you to like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you've not clicked that notification bell, please do so that you'll be notified of my next video. There, I get to talk about practical steps to take to work on optimizing your LinkedIn for that opportunity you've been looking for. Thank you so much.